Has past trauma held you back from really enjoying sex? Do you experience pain or shame when you receive or ask for pleasure? You're not alone. Hi, I'm Jaya, an award-winning sexologist, author and creator of Ignite Your Passion, and I'm a Cal Exotics expert sexpert. In this Bedroom Insider series, we're going to take a look at seven barriers that are preventing you from having hot, juicy, satisfying, and amazing sex. I've been talking about the seven barriers to hot sex. If you missed our other videos on these barriers, be sure to go back and check them out. You never know if one of them could be what's holding you back from the sex life that you really desire. And now, our seventh barrier, trauma, shame, and pain. I experienced all of these in my sexuality and many other people do too. The good news is that we can overcome them. Let's start by looking at shame. Shame is when you say to yourself, I'm bad. Guilt is when you say, what I did was bad. Sexual shame is a state of mind that prevents you from enjoying pleasure and aliveness in your life because it says that you're a bad person for enjoying sex. Shame keeps you in fear, locked in a pattern where you cannot fully express your sexual needs, wants, and desires. And then there's trauma and pain. These can be physical or emotional, usually leaves a scar, and they need to be cleared on multiple levels, body, mind, and in your energy. So overcoming shame, trauma, and pain is a journey. Everyone's different, and they may need to follow different paths to see results. But here are five things that you're gonna need on this journey to healing. First is self-responsibility. This is claiming that there's something that you can do about the situation. It's really taking ownership of it instead of being caught in a victim cycle or a blame cycle. Empathy, this is really feeling into yourself and feeling what's true and, and being with those feelings instead of trying to push them aside or be like, oh no, I'm just gonna shove that over there. It's really being with what's, what is present and having vulnerability around that. Compassion, this is very similar to empathy, but it's not being hard on yourself, you know, beating yourself up, oh, I should be over this already, and I, da, da, da. like that voice that beats you up, this is the opposite, having compassion for yourself. And then healing, you are on a healing journey, and it's okay to be like, you know what, I'm healing here, and, and see, seek out that healing. What do you need in order to heal the trauma and the pain and shame that you're experiencing? And then finally, patience with yourself because we have to be patient on this journey. Sometimes we, we take 10 steps up and then one step back, or we take two steps up and three steps back. And so realizing that it is a journey and being patient with yourself is gonna help you enjoy and experience the journey in a more fruitful way. This concludes our series on the seven barriers to hot sex. Be sure to check out the entire series at clubcalexotics.com and visit me at my site, sexisyou.com. Until next time, for your life with pleasure.